Greetings family and welcome to another edition of Black Talk Radio where black media matters and black life definitely matters. Today is Thursday, August 9th, 2018. Family, we've heard it all. Well, we thought we did, but now we have another phone call to the police on a black person. Why? Well, this time is because he's simply being arrogant and because he's black. So, he got the police called on him because he's arrogant and because he's black. Let's go to the story. Defay says he was racially profiled by a convenience store clerk who was caught on camera calling the cops saying she wanted the student out of the store because he was arrogant and black. News 13's Chris McKee spoke to that man. It happened to and shows you the video. There's nothing right about this and there's nothing right to call the police on someone just because of their skin tone. It's what 22-year-old Jordan McDowell experienced while buying snacks inside a Santa Fe All Subs on Cerritos. The first thing that popped in my mind absolutely was just discrimination. Recorded on cell phone video, an employee called police to kick Jordan out and said this. Oh, so I'm arrogant because I'm black? In that moment, the only thing I felt at the small moment was rage. He went to Allsup's around 8 last Friday night for candy. As he paid for some, then looked around for more, Jordan noticed something. She had been in the corner the whole time watching. They said I was sketchy because I picked stuff up, put stuff back. The employee called police. Police spoke to Jordan and the employee, but didn't take any action. We confronted the employee today inside the store where she made those comments. She first denied saying anything. We played her a copy of the video. She still denied saying anything and then refused to talk to us. Racism in America never truly died. A pre-med Xavier University student, Jordan has been in Santa Fe for two weeks studying Native American culture. He says he doesn't harbor bad feelings, but wants others to know what happened. I just want everyone to know that you still have a voice. You still can speak up, you still can do your part, and that's along with what I'm going to continue to do. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. Allsup's corporate offices didn't respond for comment tonight, but a store manager said the comments the employee made were not acceptable. So, family, you heard it. You know one thing is definitely certain is that the racists they always lie even when they're caught on video did you notice that family she was caught on video saying those racist things and when the news media the news reporter confronted her about excuse me I'm sorry confronted her about her statements she goes into immediately lying and then when they showed her the video then she refused to say anything more. This is how the racists usually act though. Like I said, this is even when they're caught on video. So they're caught on video, red-handed, and then they try to lie to you about it in the process. And what's so sad is so many of you will go along with it just to go along with it. That's sad in and of itself. So, this young man, 22-year-old black man, he is a, a, a grad student. Sorry about that. He's a grad student, and he's just trying to make his way through college. And he experiences his, his, basically he's experiencing a taste of what racism is about. And as a young man, a young black man, it's probably good that he's going through this right now so that he can learn how to navigate himself in the future. But it certainly isn't just with exposing him, exposing the racist, it's also acting. And that means that you decide and choose not to ever go to that store ever again as long as you are studying there. I heard what he said that he's, that he's studying there to learn about the Native American culture. I think that's that's noble of him if that whatever that has to do with his his graduate studies. But while he's there, that store also is not a store I'd ever 
visit or go to ever again with or without a video camera now that you know how they are just don't go there ever again and while you're at it keep exposing them to family friends and others and let them know why they shouldn't go there either so folks now we got our call the police because you're arrogant and black damn what's next again like I said I wouldn't be surprised if the next one is because we're black and we're breathing this is just how dumb these cave people are anyways this is Guru at Black Talk Radio thanks a lot for tuning in and until the next video take care of yourself I'm done peace out <laughs>